You're in charge of assigning every child on earth the monster under their bed. One child in particular has caused every monster assigned to her to quit. You decide to assign yourself. I stare at the file and realize I have no options. Over the last two years, every monster assigned to Charlotte Dower has quit. Every last one. Her first monster, a giant goldfish-faced humanoid named Bubba, had been with her for four years, and then she wasn't scared of him anymore. After that, it was a string of different common, uncommon, and rare monsters. I even assigned a ancient sock monster to her. He came back crying. I look at my tablet, only one assignable monster left myself. Fieldwork has never been my cup of tea, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So at 8.03 p.m., after Mrs. Gideon, Texan Charlotte and her brother Daniel, I slither into the space beneath Charlotte's bed. Across the room underneath Daniel's crib is a rookie, Chico, a standard creep kind of monster. I turn my attention to the bed above me. Charlotte is still awake, but barely. I reach up over the bed and run an ice-cold finger over her cheek. Silence. So I do it again. I'm not afraid of you, monster. She whispers, but her voice is shaking. I can see a small clock on the wall, 8.14. A door somewhere in the house slams and there's an audible hitch of breath from above me. A few minutes go by, I can hear Francis Gideon yelling at his wife. There are heavy footsteps on the stairs and loud panting breaths. Charlotte scrambles off the bed and she crawls under the bed with me. Move over, Charlotte hisses at me. I do. The door to the bedroom slams open and I smell the stench of human and toxins before the man even steps inside. I know why Charlotte isn't afraid of any of the monsters. She's afraid of her own. Francis reaches a hand under the bed and I thrust my wrist into it. He starts to pull. I slither out. What the? I cut Francis' next words off by unfolding to my full 12 foot height. Looming over the drunken man, I caress my cold fingers down his face. If you ever touch, scare, or harm my child again, I will find you and I will do the same to you for all eternity. I promised him. As Francis runs from the room, he soils himself. I pull Charlotte from under the bed, tuck her back under the covers, and kiss her forehead goodnight. I'll be back tomorrow night. Sleep well, darling. Charlotte Dower is my child, and I am the monster under her bed.